All right, welcome to our second level, if you will. <laughs> Get what I did there. Our second level of leveling up your Scratch game. So strategies and ideas when making new levels. So you finish your beginning base game. What are some things I can do to make my invention, my game, better? Level two, add some speed. So depending on your project, this may not be relevant to you, but if you're working on something like a chase game, if you're working on something like a um, clicker game or, or something that requires uh, some difficulty in getting something, there might be a strategy for you in adding some speed. So let's take a look at what that looks like in Scratch. Now this is an example here that you see on the right of using the uh, conditionals and the operatives the green block here, on um, using that to compare a variable to a value that we determine. So what this means is when my score is greater than five, I'm gonna make it move 20 steps instead of 10. If on edge, bounce, okay? So that is if I'm doing my Pong game that I was working on and at level at greater than five, or in this case that we're gonna do, for example, of testing, we're gonna make it two. Um, after two points are scored, it's gonna make our ball go faster. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like in Scratch. So I'm gonna pull this out. This is what your standard game looks like, where you have the ball going everywhere and it's testing this out. So I keep getting points and it just goes, right? So I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna to add to my movement algorithm right here. So um, what it's doing is it's starting at a position every time and it's going to turn 15 degrees and then move 10 steps. So it's just going to move and then forever it's going to keep moving and if on edge bounce. It's going to keep moving 10 steps every time so it looks like it's gradually moving about. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a conditional block that when I get to a certain score it's going to make it go faster. So here's how that works. I'm gonna use a conditional block, a control block, and it's gonna be an if-then statement, and I'm gonna put it underneath this one, right in the forever loop, and this forever loop just simply checks it every single time. It keeps checking and checking and checking, and if the condition is true, or score, it's going to perform the if statement. So I'm gonna to go to vary, I'm gonna to go to operators, Operators are inequalities, different other and uh, other things as well. And I'm going to look for the one that says blank is greater than 50. I'm going to drag that in there. And obviously, we'd be here forever if it was 50. We're going to make it 2 for the example of this video. And I'm going to use my score variable. So I'm going to go to variables. I'm going to go to score. And I'm going to drag that as the first part of our inequality. And that says if our score is greater than 2, then do this action. I want to make it move faster. So I'm going to choose move 10 steps and I'm going to put it in the F block, but I'm going to make it move 20 steps. Ho, 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 ho. And then I'm going to use again what I used here if on edge bounce. And drag there. Then we're going to test this guy out. And we can go. Now that means if it's greater than two. So is two greater than two? No. So I got to score at least two points. Two, and then I should see this get faster for my third one. Whoa, it's moving really fast. And I, I also made a desert game uh, change. And so now it's every two, it's making it go and change the screen every two for those. But uh, that was a different coding that I did. And now it's moving really fast. So as you can see, if I use an if statement within my moving blocks, it will make it go faster for level two. Now, if you really didn't want it, if you wanted it to go gradual, you would do maybe 14. And then I would pull this out and do command C to copy, command V to paste. And then you can make a level three where you put if our score is four then you go to 20. And so that makes it gradual. So level two is in the cactus level, which I put in another video that I saw, if you want to view that. You can make it go at two points, it's going to go 14 steps, so it's going to go moderately faster. And then at four points, it's going to go really, really fast.
So that is how you make a change speed block happen so that you are leveling up your scratch game.